so hey everyone i hope you all are doing well so today in this video we're gonna discuss about the role and responsibility of clinical sas programmer so whenever you are going to join a cro as a fresher there will be three to six months of training depend upon company okay some company will give you two to three months of training some company will give you three to six months of training so what will happen in the training in the training they will train you on base sas advanced sas and clinical sas and during the training you need to understand one thing company will not train you 100 percent they will contribute 40 percent and you have to contribute for remaining 60 percent let's suppose they have taught you some topic or explained you some examples on array or do loop so the remaining examples you have to do it and you have to practice it so they will not train you 100 percent but 40 to 50 percent they will contribute and 60 to 70 percent you might have to contribute okay so your contribution will be more in the training and during the training there will be some small test it can be mock interviews as well it can be written test as well and you will be allocated with some questions some scenario on based upon the training whatever they will train on the particular day based on those things they'll give you some questions as well and they'll give you some task as well and you have to complete it till the next meeting or till the next session and once your training is completed then there will be a final mock interview and final test as well and if in the final mock interview or in the final test you are performing well then you will be shifted to a project now you can have a question what will happen if you are not performing well during the training or in the mock interview or in the test no worries guys 99% of people they're gonna perform well only okay because the training is very good and you already know this that how much important this training is and as soon you're gonna finish this training you're gonna allocate it a project so 99% percent of people they're gonna shift it to project and if someone is not performing well they're gonna extend the training part for him or her and they're gonna give some more training to ensure that you are ready to move or to shift it on project now you can have a question what will happen after the company training so after the training you will get a project and in a project in a task tracker there will be a sheet excel sheet in that sheet your task will be assigned let's suppose they have assigned you some table listing or they have assigned you some sdm adam data set so your name will be written in front of that table or in front of those listing and you will be knowing okay this table i have to do it on that particular part that how the task will be assigned to you i can create a separate video but in this video i am giving you an overview so once your task will be assigned because not each and every time they'll ping you or they'll mail you that what are the tasks you have to do in that tracker you have to check what are the things that got allocated to me now you can have a question as a fresher what are the tasks they can give to you in the project so mostly for freshers they will assign you sdm adam data set as well along with the table listing so it totally depend upon you okay if you are performing very well then they will assign you all the tasks like sdm adam table listing if you are performing average then they might give you table listing as well why they will give table listing to fresher let's suppose if company have given you sdm data set and you have done some mistakes okay so the final value is gonna get wrong right so on the basis of sdm adam data set is created on the basis of adam data set table listing is created okay so your mistake will be carry forwarded to different team who gonna use your data that's why they'll give you the and work table listing so your work not gonna impact anyone else if they are giving you sdm or adam your analysis or your final data gonna impact the other data values or the outcome now it depend upon many factor what they are giving to you sdm adam table listing it's depend upon their availability of work as well the team size and many other factors now let's move to the next part of this video what will be your role and responsibility as a senior statistical programmer so as a senior statistical programmer you will be contributing in the sap document where you will be contributing in the table listing mock shells okay and creation as well you will be mentoring your juniors okay that what are the best way that programming can be done on many other topics whatever knowledge you are having as a senior statistical programmer you will try to deliver to your juniors as well and the next task as a senior programmer you will be doing qc or validating your juniors work and you will be also participating in cross functional team meetings and providing technical expertise now we believe as a senior statistical programmer you will be minimum having five years of experience so you can give feedback to different teams okay with your experience you will be also developing and maintaining sops and programming standards you have to also collaborate with biostation and clinicians to ensure accurate statistical analysis and optimizing macro creation and codes these are the major tasks you will be doing as a senior statistical programmer so as a senior programmer you have to do the task 
which is difficult and juniors will be doing the task which is little easy compared to the task assigned to you on top of that you will be giving your uh, expertise as well it means feedback as well you will try to optimize the code as well the study codes which are created by juniors okay you will do discussion with biostation as well to ensure the sap and other documents are created in a correct way and the data which is available to you that is also fine and correct now let's move to the third part of this video that is role and responsibility of clinical saas programmer manager or statistical programmer manager as an manager your major responsibility will be oversee and coordinate the activities of statistical programmer team ensure adherence to project timelines budgets and regulatory compliance allocate resources and assign tasks to team members based on their expertise conduct performance evaluation and provide guidance for professional development participating in strategic planning and decision making process related to clinical trials represent the statistical programmer team in cross functional meeting and discussion if i have to give you a short overview of manager work is that is like hiring team management client management budgeting ensuring that there is no issue within the team okay and many other things but as a manager you will not do coding your work is to review their work okay already under you there will be principal lead and many other programmers who will take care of the work and you have to take care of the other things like we have discussed hiring managing team budgeting hr discussions and many other things so i hope guys this video is useful for all if you have any more questions you can ask me in the comments if you want to connect me you can connect me through one to one counseling you can find the link in the video description so let's meet in the next video till the time bye bye everyone and thank you everyone